Hello and welcome to the CR Amity Centre Community Stadium at the LAN for this afternoon's Bet Victor Summer League Central fixture between Tamworth and Lower Soft Town. Brought to you by Lambs Media, who are proudly sponsored by OnlySuperNews.com. Just before kickoff, I'm just going to run through the two teams this afternoon. Starting off in goal for Tamworth is Jazz Singh. Number two, Luke Little. Three, Henry Wilder. Four, Captain Brian Buzzy. Five, Jordan Goff. Six, Lathaniel Rowe Turner. Seven, Tyrell Waite. Eight, Aaron Ford. Nine, Dan Creaney. Ten, Bill Yafai. And eleven, Rhys Honis. And on the bench for Tamworth this afternoon is Ahmed Obeng, Rashan Francis, Greg Casaboni, Chris Late, and James Fry. Charge forward, we are underway I'll here. i back to the keeper actually, it's gone all the way home to the goalkeeper. Aaron Ford uses his body well, and Dan Creaney picks the loose ball up, puts the ball in towards the back post. Rhys Honis is there, he's been forced a little bit wide though, plays it on the edge for Ryan Bezik, who has the shot, and that flies into the top corner. That is one brilliant strike there from the Tamworth skipper, Ryan Bezik. Absolutely, that's another goal for Ryan Bezik that's actually been for open play as well, Jake. The goalkeeper there, Lewis Tibbles, was all out of position. And that top right-hand corner of the goal was so inviting for Ryan Bezik and he smashed it and killed it into the top corner. So Bezik once again plays the ball along the pit, along the back, into the box to Tyrell Waite, plays the ball across the ground. And really, that should have been in the back of the net from Dan yeah. Green because it, the ball was smacked across the face of the goal. The keeper was beaten and the ball smashed the inside of Dan Creaney's foot and he couldn't control it into the back of the goal. Yeah, I think he actually tried to take a touch to set himself as Bilal Yifai with some nice skill. Still going Bilal Yifai, looks to flick it through for Creaney. Sure, it's going to be a free kick though and it will be Bilal Yifai drawn the, draw the free kick. And the referee obliges and gives Tamworth a chance right on the edge of that D, so about 20 yards from goal. The referee's blown his whistle, Rambas steps up, fires the ball into the same top right hand corner of the goal. Ryan Bezik has scored two goals within nine minutes here this afternoon, giving Tamworth a two goal lead. And it's the same corner again, isn't it? He's whipped it round into that top right corner from corner from where we're sitting. And yeah, Tamworth lead 2 0 in nine minutes. Ryan Bezik. Who picks out Dan Crini on the left wing. Tyrell carries on his run down towards the corner flag. Gets there just in time. He holds the ball up now and plays it back to James. Not James Ty, sorry. Dan Crini, who looks back to me. Launch that ball into the far corner of the box and very nearly, Bretonian's got his foot on the end of that. And now Luke Little, he's seen a lot of the ball as the Tamworth right back. And look again, he's looking to go forward, plays the ball in. It's not a bad ball to your fire, who gets a glancing head of Ryan. Wait's going to keep it in on that left hand side, pull it onto the edge to Bilal Yifai. Left of Ryan Bezik, who looks to place it. Bezik looks to pass it into that far corner, very nearly. A splitting image of Tamworth's first goal, but Bezik couldn't quite connect with it as well. Yeah, it's a good chance for Tamworth and another good chance for Ryan Bezik to get his hat trick. Tamworth have got everyone back and actually a rare shot, actually on target as well, that Jazzing had to be alert for, Jake, to tip that one over the bar yeah. at the expense of a corner. It was an opportunistic shot from Miguel Lopez and seeing on his toes, he hasn't really had a lot to do with his hands in this first half. He's had a few, few passes that he's made out. And then McIntosh can bring it forward with the ball inside, which Belay Fai nips in and takes off the toes. Belay Fai still going, lays it out wide to Tyrell White. White into the box, gets past his man, looks to be taken out. Nothing given though. Travis Cole looked to be taken out. Well, Travis Cole looked to take out Tyrell White, but at least trip him. Yeah, this right. looks like it's going to be lofted into the far right hand corner of the goal, but it was actually a goal there back for Lower South Town. And really, the Tamworth defence there absolutely stood off it, expecting that one to be lofted up over the top, Jake, but it was played really short. Yeah. And I believe it was the number 11, Lewis McIntosh, completely unmarked. That's their first real meaningful cross into the Tamworth box. And again, a possible free kick there for Tamworth, which is not given. 
and now Lowestoft looks to come forward with it with their tails up now it's McIntosh Louis McIntosh looks to bend it in to Jassing's goal it's a good side by Singh yeah thankfully Henry Warder was there though to mop up because Lowestoft are still on the front foot and now they've got their tails up for these last minute or so of the first half and now they'll feel like they can get something out of this game though Jake and that is the half time whistle then here at the lab half time score is Tamworth 2 Lowestoft uh, 1 Glitter with the throw for Tamworth back to Jordan Goff. He's going to go all the way home to Jazz Singh. It's just about going to make it to the Tamworth keeper ahead of the number nine, Jake Reed. That's a decent kick by Jazz Singh. It's going to skid off the surface and Tyra White could be in here. Tyra White for Tamworth and it's Tamworth 3, Leverstuff Town 1. And Jazz Singh, I'm just going to claim that assist. <laughs> I'm sure that will be a good assist. Hey, well, that was he's got his hand in the air, punch in the air, and Jazz Singh will get the assist. I mean, to be fair, wrote Louis, uh, Nathaniel Rowe Turner immediately turned round and was smiling at Jazz Singh. So it was a great ball from the Tamworth keeper. Absolutely, and Tamworth has started off the second half the way that we wanted them to. There's Tyra White, can't quite bring it down, it's taken off him. But then Henry Wilder the ball forward and once again it's another one for Travis Cole to deal with. Dan Creaney pressing this time. Creaney's got the wrong side of the low stuff skipper. Takes it round him again. Creaney then chips it back to Balagi Foy who gets ahead to it. Honing on that back post. Brings it down. Couldn't pull the trigger. Lays it back to Aaron Ford who does. Trying to pass it into that bottom corner. And it's just about cleared by lower stuff. Looking to run at Josh Curry. He's got two low stuff players for company, so he had to set it back to Bessie. But it's a decent ball in. Looking for Creaney. It was taken off his head by Adam Tan. Honez puts it back in. Round the back post is Tyra Way, was it? No, it's below you five, and somehow he's missed. But that's another chance for Tan to put this game to bed, Stu. It is, but you know, it's nice to see that the Tampa players have got smiles back on their faces, Jake, and they're actually having a laugh up there on the pitch, and it's not all so cheap. But the ball's been played through to Bruce Hayden, who's lifted the ball over. There is Tibbles and Tamworth now four goals to one and that was a lovely little free ball there and it, it actually beat probably about four lower sub tag defenders and we were just expected to be cleared away but yeah. Reese Honus there was alert and maybe you know his first touch might have been a tiny bit heavy but he actually got there and managed to get his second touch over the keeper. Ball played up over the halfway line from lower stuff. But Nathaniel Rowe Turner was unceremoniously taken out there. And the time of change is going to happen there. And there is the warm reception from the shed for Chris Light on his return to the line. We will be replacing Tyrone White. There you go, a nice warm reception for Chris Late then on his return to the Lamb. Yep, absolutely, Chris Late back in a Tamworth shirt at the Lamb. Yeah, started off with two quick goals and that does bring the end then to this game here at the CIMT Centre Community Stadium. It's Tamworth 4, Lowestoff 1, Ryan Bezick with two goals for Tamworth, followed up by one from Tyra White and then Reese Honus.